All right, there are a lot of cars that you could describe as either you love it or you hate it, but I'm not sure that there's any more perfect example of that than the Cadillac Alante. Yeah, so on the hated side, this is really obvious. I mean, there are people who just hate it because it was overpriced, overhyped, overcomplicated, way too expensive, just repackaging existing mediocre General Motors stuff. And on the love it side, you've got the Elante owners who were personally insulted when the Elante was named the featured mark of the 2018 Concours de Lemons. We'll get into that a little bit later. Yeah, so there's there's really no in between with the Elante. I think every Elante in the world now is either owned and lovingly maintained by a card carrying member of the Elante Jihad or it's in a junkyard. All right, so what is a Cadillac Alante? Well, in a basic sense, it's a two-seat luxury convertible offered from 1987 to 1993 as competition for the standard 80s yuppie transportation, of course, the Mercedes-Benz SL. And I have to give General Motors both credit and criticism here because they, they went literally the extra mile to make this thing special, however they defined it. What that meant was they shortened a Cadillac platform, they put them on airplanes and flew them to Italy so that Pininfarina and the chips therein could bang a lot of metal, attach bodies to them. Then they flew them back on a special 747 that they constructed to hold 56 cars at a time flew them back to Hamtramck because nothing says romantic luxury convertible like Hamtramck, Michigan for final assembly motors and stuff like that. You know, I'm no expert, but this whole procedure seems expensive. Yes, it was, but, but hey, don't worry. They just passed the cost on to the customer. In real money at the time, this was like a $125,000 car. So you're telling me that General Motors actually thought it was good product strategy to sell a dressed up two seat Cadillac using off the shelf mechanicals and then charge six figures for the damn thing? That is exactly right. $20, $20, yes, charge six figures. Well, at the very least, I'm sure that that's not a mistake that they ever made again. So yeah, about the off the shelf mechanicals now. So under the hood, they start with the high technology Cadillac V8, which you'll notice is not called the high value or high reliability V8. To be fair, the good old HT V8 has proven to be a surprisingly okay lemons engine. Yeah, no, that's true. Although also to be fair, the entire car cost like 25% more than a 911 convertible at the time. It was like three quarters the cost of a Ferrari 328. So, you know, you wouldn't want the same engine as like an 82 Fleetwood Brome. I mean, I get that. Now, just a quick clarification. The HT engine was only in the first six years of Elante production. In 1993, for the final year, it got a North Star. Yeah, that's right. So they got the all aluminum, four cam, highly advanced technological Marvel, um, which actually did not run as well in racing or the street as the old high technology V8. Yep, that's the one. Back in 2018, Alan Galbraith, who runs the Concours de Lemons car shows, he decided to make the Elante the featured mark of the flagship Concours de Lemons car show, which is the one that happens during Monterey Car Week. Yeah, at the time, Alan was actually an Elante owner himself, so he did have some expertise on the car's qualifications, but when he invited the various Elante clubs to join him on the Concord de Lemons lawn, he didn't get the greatest response. In fact, I think it's safe to say it was heat metal and death threats, um, which was chronicled in a great Jalopnik story, also worth looking up. In the end, there was but the one Elante, Allen's, at that year's Concord de Lemons, and similarly, to date, we've only seen a single Elante and Lemons racing. Yeah, and, and actually this has been kind of a shocking Lemons race car. So it started up, it was run by Ranwin Park. Um, they had a great time with it. And then it was passed on to the shockingly happy owners of You Oughta Know By Now Racing. Yeah, so the Lemons Racing Elante is the first year 1987 model, Why You Ruined Classic, which features the sturdy, for some reason, high technology V8. In 1987 spec, that meant it was 4.1 liters, 170 horsepower, front wheel drive, it's got a four speed automatic transaxle. Zero to 60 in stock form is somewhere in the low nine second range. Yeah, so I mean, that's a real sports car right there. So that's like a drag racing matchup for um, a second generation Prius. 
Yeah, but remember, for reasons we can't explain, the HT4100 has a good track record in lemons, and this Elante has run several races with minimal problems. It's beat several Mercedes, in fact, so maybe that original goal of competing head-to-head -head with the Germans wasn't so far off. Yeah, and the most shocking thing of all, it has been a really reliable car, and some of the fastest lemons drivers out there have driven this car, and to a person, they all say, handles great, stops great, totally reliable, totally fun to drive. Who knew all this car was missing all this time? Racetrack pedigree. The new Alante. The new Alante. And I now present to you the Alante. The new Alante. He's got the, the double jiggle. See, jiggle, jiggle. The new Alante.